Okay, it's a crisp morning in Kluwani National Park and we are about to start on the Slims River Trail. Uh, the Ao Chu, is that how you say it? Bless you. Trail to Observation Mountain. Hi there, I'm Teresa, uh, getting ready for the hike for um, Observation Mountain. And um, luckily my bag's not too heavy because Luke's carrying it all. <laughs> <laughs> not all of it, just half of it. Pretty soon the first creek crossing greeted us, where we'd have to get our feet wet. The mountain peaks shone in the morning sun, and before we knew it, we were at the second creek, Bullion. They weren't joking about these creek crossings. This is actually pretty big, and we're still in the morning. That's a lot of muddy water coming down. So where do we cross? What are you thinking? Um, I can't really see a good option after those rocks there in the middle. So... Do you want to go further down? I think that might... Okay, this creek crossing looks a bit deeper. So that means it's time to take off the pants. And you know you're having a good day when you got to take your pants off. Do you have any fears about crossing the creek? <laughs> Somewhat, I don't really want to get all my stuff wet, so... Um, I just don't want to fall in. Do you think it will be easy? Not easy, but doable. <laughs> That's the right attitude. <laughs> Bringing water shoes was a bad idea. This is really cold, really fast moving water. And this will be the biggest, fastest creek crossing I've ever done. So that creek crossing was a lot harder than it looked. Not to be underestimated. I really should have brought water shoes, my sandals, to go through it, because it's with bare feet, you have no grip. There's rocks like larger than golf balls, which are being bashed into your legs and into your toes, just carried with the current. There was even a stick wrapped around my leg at one point. That was a pretty serious creek crossing. Um, especially, so there was one group just in front of us and one of the women, she actually fell in. So we literally watched her falling in. Twice? Luckily, twice. <laughs> Luckily nothing happened, but it does make you feel a bit uncomfortable. I'm glad we found the good route and we made it. It was challenging, but doable, as I said in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, both of us, both of us never fell in. Yep, right, right here.
This part looks beautiful, but I assure you, it's not fun. You're just walking through a swampy grass meadow. The color is nice, but having wet feet, not cool. Eventually, we made it to the campsite and set up our tent. What do we have for dinner? I've got some quick, easy backpackers pantry pasta yeah. primavera. <laughs> and I've got num, 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 noodles <laughs> with homemade dehydrated broccoli and kale chips. <laughs> A little more home cooking than mine. <laughs> It feels really good to have the backpack off my shoulders. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it does. Really start you it really starts cutting in by 22 kilometers. Mm. It was a long day. I didn't think it looks easy on the paper, but you feel it at the end of the day. And then the nice thing is the last kilometer it goes up and up and up and up and up when you already have 20 kilometers in your legs. So. <laughs> All of the elevation gain is in the last kilometer. <laughs> that trail has a bit of everything from mud <laughs> to... A bit of yeah. mud? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of mud and marshy sections. I'm gonna call that trail Yukon's largest beach because that's kind of <laughs> what it is. The wind is very strong through the valley. Good thing is it's a bit less buggy. Yeah, the wind blows the bugs away. Yeah. It was a bit bit of a pain at, at times, but uh, it was all right. And hopefully the weather's going to be nice tomorrow. Do you think they'll dry out by tomorrow? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good looking mountain, that. is barely above ice. It's probably zero degrees Celsius. It's freezing. This is so steep. The camera doesn't even show how steep it is. From the summit, the glorious Casca Walsh Glacier lay below us. We are here on the top of Observation Mountain. It is a beautiful day in Kluwani. We couldn't have got better weather because we arrived and the clouds were swirling around below us and then they swirled away and revealed the glacier, which is just a mind-blowing view. I've never seen a glacier this large in my life. With the 
swirling bands of rock it's carrying down the middle. Several different lines, like the lines on a vinyl record. I have to say, look at it. Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Honestly, it's amazing. It was well worth the effort to come up here. It was quite a strenuous climb, but uh, and it was freaking cold on the way. It was like wind chill minus 50 probably or something. We're in the Yukon after all. So. But yeah, this is just amazing. <laughs> Maybe one of the best views I've ever seen from the top of a mountain. It does remind me of Patagonia, by the way. Yeah? Yeah. And this should be world famous, like honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Just the scale of the Yukon is insane. Everything is so big and so much further away than you think. Everything is huge. For example, the glacier at its widest point below us is 4.8 to 6.4 kilometers wide and covers an area of more than 39,000 square kilometers. Oh yeah, and Canada's tallest mountain, Mount Logan, is blocked from our sight, somewhere behind the peaks in front of us. We are watching a herd of, what, almost 20 goats below us. They've just come around the corner of the ridge, and there's baby goats. Babies! <laughs> this is pretty cool. <laughs> this is the most goats I've ever seen in one place. My first mountain goat. Oh, there's more. Look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're making our way down. And the, steep, the sheer steepness of this trail is incredible. I don't know the stats of how much it drops how quickly. But that creek could be easily 300 meters below us and we can just see over the edge to it. We're very, it's, it's gonna go down a huge amount straight down to the creek. It is a, a very, very steep trail. Back at camp after we ate dinner, we stretched out our legs and gave our sore knees a rest because we had to hike all the way back out the next day. Good morning, it's a gray, drizzly morning, and it was hard to get out of the tent. It was just so cozy and warm in there. <laughs> Excited to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, really looking forward to all the mud and creek crossings we're gonna encounter on the way out. <laughs> Another note I can see, fresh snow on the peak above us. So the snow line is just up there. Let's go. In time, we'll forget the hard parts, like the freezing creek crossings and the ferocious wind. But the wild, wide open spaces of Kluwani will stay with us. 